Vamsa so man, this is the continuation video of the conic section, and here in the previous video we have converted this general solution of ellipse to the standard solution of the ellipse. As we here we have written the standard equation of the ellipse, and we will now we will find out the center of the ellipse. For cent to find out the center of the ellipse, we need to equate x plus one equal to zero, and here y minus two equal to zero. If we equate to zero, we will get x equal to minus one and y equal to two. And then we will find out the a and b value. A square equal to one by four. So then we will get a equal to one by two. If we will compare b square equal to three by four, then we will get the b value equal to root three by two. And then we will find out the length of the major and minor axis. So minor axis equal to two a. This is the standard formula that we use to apply for all kind of ellipse. Two a equal to two into one by two equal to one. For the major axis, we need to apply the formula to b equal to two into root three by two. B will take from here root three by two. Two two will get cancelled and we will get root three. Such and then there is a eccentricity for the ellipse. For the eccentricity, we need to check a and b whether a is greater than b or a is less than b. For the a, if a is greater than b, then we need to apply this formula under root one minus b square by a square. If a is less than b, then we need to apply this formula a equal to one minus a square by b square. And we have checked like. A value is one by two and B value is root three by two. Root three by two is point eight six and this point five. So clearly we can see here the point five is less than point eight six. So we can say here A is less than B. So we will apply this formula for the eccentricity. As this formula, as we know this formula is equal to one minus A square by B square by under root. So we will put A A and B value over here. A square will be one by four. B square will be three by four. And it's, likewise we will simplify and we'll get the value of eccentricity root. Two by three. Then we will find out the coordinate of the foci focus. So if a greater than b, then the coordinate of the focus will be plus minus a comma zero. And here we have a less than b. For a less than b, we need to uh, apply this formula zero comma plus minus b. As we know, and we have two coordinate center coordinate x plus one and y minus two y minus two so we will compare x plus two with this zero if we equate x plus one equal to zero we will get x equal to minus one here then plus minus b equal to y minus two so y minus two equal to plus minus b e y we will transfer this two to that another side y equal to we will get y equal to two plus minus b e b value is root three by two here we have find out root three by two and a e value is uh, root two by three So we'll put root three by two and our root two by three. We and we will simplify and we will get two plus minus one by under root two. So finally, we'll get the coordinate of the focus is x equal to minus n and y equal to two plus minus one upon root two. Next, we will find out the length of the lattice rectum. To find out the length of the lattice rectum, same thing we again we need to check if a less than b. A less than b, then we need to apply 2a square upon b. If a greater than b is there, then we need to apply 2b square upon me a. Since we have a less than b, so we will apply this formula 2a square means 1 by 2. We have uh, find out from the equation 1 by 2, 1 by 2a square, and b value root 3 by 2. If we we'll simplify, we will get 1 upon root 3, the length of the lattice rectum. Then we will come extremities of the lattice rectum, and the formula for the same thing again we need to check if a less than b. So same thing we need to apply this formula. This formula is plus minus a square b comma plus minus b. So a value is one by two, b value is root three by two. Eccentricity under root root under root two by three. So a square will be one by four, b value will be root three by two, and b value root three by two into root under root two by three. And we will simplify and we will get this coordinate of the extremities of the lattice rectum. Then If suppose that if a point is given and from there we need to find out the focal distance from the point P comma such that comma three comma four. So what will again we need to check if a less than b or a greater than b. And if previously we have checked a a is less than b. So the formula will be e b plus minus e y. So b value as we know root three by two plus minus eccentricity is under root two by three. Or y value is here given from here. We will take from here it's four and we'll put it as here. So again we will simplify and find out the solution of it thank you for watching